Hi friends! Welcome to this exciting Scratch tutorial. Today, we're starting a fun project, building a snake and ladder game from scratch, literally. In this first part, we'll focus on creating the game board and adding the snakes and ladders. Let's dive right in! To begin, we need a game board with 100 squares, just like the classic snake and ladder board. But here's the thing, the grid background in Scratch has more squares than we need. So what do we do? We'll use the pen tool to draw exactly 100 squares on our stage. Cool, right? Let me show you how. First, let's write the code for drawing our grid. We'll start with the when green flag clicked block and add the erase all block to clear the screen. Next, we'll position the pen at the top left corner of the grid. We'll use go to x, negative 240, y, negative 180, a big graph of coordinates. The middle of the screen is x, 0, y, 0. Moving left decreases the x value, moving right increases it. Similarly, moving up increases the y value and moving down decreases it. Add repeat 10 block. This block creates a loop that repeats the steps inside it 10 times. Since we're drawing a grid, we need to create 10 horizontal lines for the rows. Instead of writing the same code 10 times, we use this loop to repeat the steps. Now add pen down block. This tells the pen to start drawing. When the pen is down, it draws a line as the sprite moves. It's like putting a real pen on paper before drawing a line. Without this, no line would appear on the screen. Now, add set x to negative 240 block, this will. Moves the pen to the x coordinate of negative 240 without changing its y coordinate. We want to start each line at the very left side of the grid. In Scratch's coordinate system, the left edge of the stage is x, negative 240, and the right edge is x, 240. So this step makes sure the pen starts at the correct position for each row. Now add set x to 240 block for moves the pen to the x coordinate of 240 without. This step completes the horizontal line by moving the pen from the left edge to the right edge of the screen. When combined with pen down, it draws a straight line from left to right. Now, add pen up. This will tell the pen to stop drawing. Even if the sprite moves, no line will be drawn while the pen is up. After finishing one row, we want to move the pen to the next row without drawing any unnecessary lines. Add, change Y by 36 block for moves the pen upward by 36 pixels on the Y axis. Why it's needed, the grid lines must be evenly spaced. Each square is 36 pixels tall, so we move the pen up by exactly 36 pixels to start drawing the next row. After the loop finishes, we have 10 horizontal lines evenly spaced on the stage, creating the rows of our grid. Next, we'll draw the vertical lines. After finishing the rows, we return the pen to the starting position using go to x, negative 240, y, negative 180. This time, the loop draws 10 vertical lines. For each line, the pen moves from the bottom to the top of the grid, then moves slightly to the right by 49 pixels using change x by 49. And voila! We have a perfect 10 by 10 grid, giving us 100 squares. Looks great, doesn't it? Now that our grid is ready, we need to add numbers from 1 to 100. Just like a real snake and ladder board. But first, let's take a screenshot of our grid and upload it as a background in Scratch. Once uploaded, go to the Costumes tab of the backdrop. Use the text tool to add numbers, starting from the bottom left corner. Here's an important tip. In snake and ladder boards, numbers follow a zigzag pattern. The first row goes left to right, the second row goes right to left, and so on. After adding all 100 numbers, take another screenshot and upload it as your new backdrop. And now, our game board is ready! What's the snake and ladder game without snakes? Let's add four snakes to our game. For this, click on the Choose a Sprite button and select Upload a Sprite. You can use snake images you've downloaded or drawn yourself. Once the snakes are added, place them on the board in strategic locations to make the game fun and challenging. Maybe one near the top to bring players back to the start and others in the middle for surprises. Now it's time to add ladders. For this, we'll use Scratch's Paint Editor. Click Paint to create a new sprite, then use the Line tool to draw a ladder. You can adjust the size, angle, and position 
position of the ladders to make the game more engaging. For example, place ladders near the bottom of the board to help players climb higher quickly. Once the ladders are placed, the board is complete. And there you have it. In just a few steps, we've created a fully functional snake and ladder board with snakes, ladders, and numbered squares. In the next video, we'll add the player sprites and the logic for rolling dice. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next part of this series. Thanks for watching and happy coding!